It has felt like the latest year that I have been coming in touch with a humongous anger. And every time I'm in contact with the light, this anger comes up. And when I'm on a walk, I, I suddenly start shouting really loud. Yeah, you're, you're just describing what we have to go through because it's like the, the anger has been so pushed away. You know, it's, it's, it's not acceptable in society, it's not acceptable in family, it's not acceptable in relationships, it's not acceptable where we work. Uh, it's, it's just not acceptable. And yet, Jesus assures us that, he says in the Course, until you are willing to look upon the full extent of your own self-hatred, you will not be willing to let it go. So that kind of fits with that line I was just saying, if, the more you look at fear, the less you see of it. Until you're willing to look upon the full extent of your own self-hatred, you will not be willing to let it go. It reminds me of those obstacles to peace, you know, when you get down to the fear of God or the fear of God's love. It's, it's so intense that the ego projects it onto persons, onto, onto your body, onto other, onto the world. You just go for a walk and you start screaming at the trees and, and the birds and everything because it's almost like a volcano that is, is going to erupt. And, and it's almost like, no, it has to go somewhere. It's just, it's, it's too intense. Now, in one sense, I would say because you're aware of it, you know, now there's a stronger urgency to heal. Because most of the seven billion people are, are walking around on a keg of dynamite. But they've got that keg so wrapped up, so bottled up, they are not aware. They may see pictures of Saddam Hussein or Osama bin Laden and Hitler and go, ooh, villains and vicious ones, ooh, tyrant, ooh, look over there, tyrant. And Mul or multiple mass murders, ooh, well, it's easy for them to point the finger, but they're not aware that they're sitting on a keg of dynamite, and they've done a lot of work to suppress that dynamite. There are others who are on the spiritual journey who, uh, who say, I've been told I'm sitting on a keg of dynamite, but I'm not experiencing that. So they do rebirthing. And they do circular breathing, they do ayahuasca, they, they do psychedelics, they do hallucinogenic drugs. I'm going to find you anger and you're going to have to show your face because I am not going to hold on to you because I want to go to the light. Well, the thing about it is, in one sense, I know it's painful, but you're in touch with it. You're, it's not that far from the surface. You're closer to the, to the ultimate healing because you're in touch with it. It's hard to handle, but, you're, but you also have a very strong urgency now with it. Because the volcano, the lava has come much more to the surface. It's not buried way down under, miles under. It's actually, it's kind of getting close to the, to the top of the volcano. And sometimes some of it spews out there when you're on a walk. When you allow it, you let some of those things shoot out of there and throw a few rocks and some lava out there. So, in one sense, still it comes back to the daily practice. Like, like for me, I knew that I may have certain things that help trigger the unconscious and, and those are very helpful. They all have their own usefulness, but in the end, I'm just going to have to go for the slow and steady practice. You know, it's like the old story of the tortoise and the hare. The rabbit may go racing on in high speeds, but sometimes you go with such high speeds that the rabbit has to just finally uh, rest. Not the turtle. 
Think of yourself, I'm going to be a turtle. A turtle for Jesus. And I just, yes, Jesus, 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 Jesus. And then you look, and you look about everybody else in the room, and they're all like on the Autobahn, zoom, zoom. You know, whoo, they're on the fast track to enlightenment. Okay, I'm going to be a turtle. But I'm going to be a turtle for Jesus. I'm going to practice this and take this stride by stride, step by step, and I'm going to let it come up, because I know it has to, like I did with my tears. Like I, and I did know that when I was crying and when, when I got to be so sad, I, I did say, I think there's some anger <laughs> underneath this sadness. And then eventually when I started to really get in touch with the anger, I was really like a turtle with Jesus. I'm like, okay Jesus, we got some major anger coming up here now. <laughs> this is feels dysfunctional. I can't be around my parents when I'm raging. I can't be around my friends when I'm raging. In fact, it's not really good to be around society <laughs> when you're raging. And Jesus is like, yeah, just turtle right over to this hermitage that I have for you <laughs> out in the woods and you can take some nice walks and scream. And there's some, I got some nice rocks for you to scream at and, you know, and the rocks were fine. They were like, Rocks were like, we're so glad to be a part of your healing process. You give it to us. Scream at us as loud as you want. Yeah. We love you. You know, so it still comes back to that guidance. Even when it's intense rage, and whatever, it's still, Jesus is still there for us and still will give us things like hermitages or, I, he just said, yeah, you're right. You're, it's best not to be around people. Uh, during this phase. So here, come here, I'll take you out out where you can let it up without any worries or concerns for, you know, repercussions uh, from that. So that's how much we're loved and I just would assure you that um, that you're, you're just exactly where you are on your journey and it's perfect, nothing's going wrong and that there will be this guidance that will allow for you to, to let it move through, really. Almost like if we had a kidney stone, you know, what do you do with a kidney stone? You, you eventually have to let it pass. Yeah. And I'm actually very grateful that it is coming up because I can feel how it has been making me sick and tired for years. And it has been my biggest desire to let everything come up. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're honored. We're honored that you can do that. It's for everybody. Thank you. Thank you.